Hi, welcome to Math Antics. In this video, we're going to learn about special kinds of polygons called quadrilaterals. Quadrilateral is just a fancy math word for a polygon that has exactly four sides and four angles, like this one. You should recognize this shape, of course, it's a square. And a square is a special kind of quadrilateral. It's a quadrilateral because it has four sides. And it's special because all four of those sides are exactly the same length and all four of its angles are exactly the same size. In fact, they're all right angles. Notice also that a square is formed by two pairs of parallel sides. These two opposite sides are parallel, and these two opposite sides are parallel. We'll see why that's important in a few minutes. Okay, so squares are an important type of quadrilateral, but we're gonna make some changes to the square to see what other types of quadrilaterals there are. The two things that we can change are the sides and the angles. Let's start by changing the sides. Let's stretch our square in one direction so that one pair of sides is now longer than the other pair. This is what we call a rectangle. A rectangle is a quadrilateral that still has four equal angles. Notice that when we stretch the square, the angles didn't change at all. But it does not have four equal sides. Again, notice that just like a square, a rectangle is made from two pairs of parallel sides. All right, so that's a rectangle, but going back to our square, what if instead of changing the sides, we had just changed the angles, like this? Ah, what we have now is called a rhombus. A rhombus is a quadrilateral that still has four equal sides, but it does not have four equal angles. And once again, just like the square and rectangle, the rhombus is made from two pairs of parallel sides. Okay, going back once more to our square. What if we try changing both the sides and the angles? Here's what we end up with, and we call it a parallelogram. It's called a parallelogram because even though its sides are not all equal and its angles are not all equal, it's still made from two pairs of parallel sides. Get it? Parallel, parallelogram. Now wait a second. If that's the definition of a parallelogram, a quadrilateral that's made from two pairs of parallel sides, then wouldn't all these other shapes be parallelograms too? Exactly. All of these shapes are parallelograms, just like they're all quadrilaterals. It's just that we have special names for them if their angles are all equal, a rectangle, or if their sides are all equal, a rhombus, or if both their sides and their angles are all equal a square. Okay then, if all the quadrilaterals we've seen so far are examples of parallelograms, what's an example that's not a parallelogram? Well, to see one, let's start over with our square again. But this time, we're going to change it by moving just one of its vertices, like so. Now, one of the pairs of sides is still parallel, but the other is not. And a quadrilateral that has only one pair of parallel sides is called a trapezoid. So to summarize, any polygon that has exactly four sides is called a quadrilateral. And if it has no parallel sides, we still just call it a quadrilateral. But if it has one, and only one pair of parallel sides, we call it a trapezoid. If it has two pairs of parallel sides, we call it a parallelogram. And you've already seen that there's several types of parallelograms called rectangles, rhombuses, and squares. All right, so that's the basics of classifying quadrilaterals. 